Hi, Doug Knoll here, and in this video, I want to go into a little more difficult topic, how to deliver bad news. And I'm going to share with you five key practices that will show you how to deliver bad news while keeping your own emotional sanity. So consider two possible scenarios. In scenario number one, you have to deliver bad news about you or your family to someone else. So for example, maybe you have, so for example, you have to tell a friend that you have cancer, or maybe you have to tell your parents that you miscarried a pregnancy, both bad situations and bad news. It's happening to you, but you have to deliver the bad news to somebody else. In the second scenario, you have to deliver the bad news to someone else about something bad that's happening to them. So for example, you have to tell a friend that her daughter has died in a car accident, a horrific situation. Or perhaps you're a doctor or a physician that has to tell a patient he has cancer. Again, really difficult situation. In each of these situations, the secret to delivering bad news is understanding that this is a deeply emotional experience for both you and the recipient. And emotional mastery is the key to delivering bad news in a way that is compassionate and graceful. So here's the first practice. Write out all of the emotions the recipient will probably experience upon hearing the bad news. And you actually want to do this on, with a piece of paper and a pen. You don't want to type it out. You want to hand write it out because that will help embed it into your brain. So emotions could be shock, surprise, sadness, grief, fear, anxiety, despair, a sense of loss, loneliness. So write out all these emotions and there may be other emotions that you can think of that might come up when you have to deliver bad news and write them all out in as much detail as you possibly can. And if, and, and, and if you're at a loss for emotional vocabulary, go out to Google and just type in emotional vocabulary and you'll get a bunch of practice aids that will give you a whole bunch of words that you can utilize in creating your list. All right, practice number two. Give the bad news in two steps. This is pretty much universal advice and I agree with it. First of all, you want to provide a warning to get people prepared. So you might some, say something like, I've got some bad news to tell you and just prepare them for the shock. And then step two, deliver the bad news concisely. You want to be truthful, but you want to be concise. Now, if it's complicated information, you want to give it slowly so that people have time to digest it and process it. But most importantly, it's to just get right to the heart of the matter and don't pussyfoot around. Just give the bad news as concisely as you can. That leads us to practice number three. Be silent. Be self-aware of your own personal anxiety or discomfort because you will feel anxiety and discomfort at delivering bad news. Be aware of it, feel the anxiety, but do not react to it. Give the recipient space to process and talk and create emotional safety. The most important thing you can do at this point in time is listen to and reflect back the emotions of the recipient. So you're gonna say things like, you're, sh oh, you're shocked and surprised. You're stunned, you're anxious and scared, you're sad, you're devastated, you feel overwhelmed, you feel lost and alone. Most importantly, do not try to fix, problem solve, dismiss, or rationalize the other person's feelings. You'll only make things worse if you do this. And more importantly, do not offer sympathy. Sympathy is a really poor way to deliver bad news. Third, don't use I statements. So you want to avoid saying things like this, I'm sorry to tell you this, but, or I can see that you are really upset, or I'm so sorry to have to tell you this. I don't want you to feel bad. Do not make the delivery of bad news about you. It's all about reframing the bad news and the emotions of the recipient from the recipient's frame of reference. Practice number four, manage your own emotions. 
Now, to manage your own emotions is beyond the, the scope of this video, but I do have a course that I've created, the Basic Emotional Competency course at https dugnoll.co emotional hyphen competency. And you'll learn how to master your emotions in that course. So I urge you to consider taking it if you want to gain more mastery about the things that I talk about. Using the list you created in practice number one, label each of your emotions when delivering bad news. So you would say to yourself, oh look, I'm experiencing sadness. I feel inadequate. I feel powerless. I'm resentful. I'm frustrated. I'm anxious. Observe how your emotions calm down as you label them inside yourself. And brain science shows that this is exactly what happens. Be aware of your need to soothe your own anxiety. Do not counsel, advise, or problem solve until the emotions have calmed down. Do not emotionally invalidate yourself or the other person. And you want to avoid trite phrases like, it's God's way, or every cloud has a silver lining, or it's bad karma. So in summary, to deliver bad news, think ahead about the recipient's emotions. Warn, then deliver. Create emotional safety by reflecting back the recipient's strong emotions. Manage your own emotions. And don't engage in self-soothing behaviors to reduce your own anxiety. That will only make things worse. So my name is Doug Knoll. I'm a lawyer turned peacemaker. I'm an author, speaker, trainer, and visionary, and co-founder of Prison of Peace, where we train murderers to be peacemakers in maximum security prisons. I've dedicated my life to helping people just like you live fulfilled and happy lives. I offer individualized training and coaching to a select group of clients. So if you'd like to set up a call to explore possibilities, email me at doug at dougknoll.com. And sign up for the basic emotional competency course at https dougknoll.co emotional dash competency. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.